time for a new video. Hubba 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 hubba. What the fuck is going on today, guys? Alright, Jagex has made a humongous update to RuneScape, and we're going to basically talk about it, because probably a lot of you guys may not understand it. Or maybe you just didn't watch the video by, uh, Mod, uh, Mark, uh, Gerhark of the, uh, well, Jagex Studios Bungholes. So basically, Jagex is on a mission from God to basically kill all the gold farmers and botters on this game. How do they basically plan on doing this? Well, their plan of action is to basically implement a new item to the game called Bonds. Yes! James Bond is coming on Jagex and killing all the gold farmers. Oh, yeah! Sean Connery, James Bond. All the other James Bond fucking su Except Pierce Brosnan was actually pretty good. But Sean Connery, he was in my... Anyways, alright. So Jag just basically added these fucking Bonds in the game. What they basically are is they're kind of like a one-world currency type fucking... Illuminati type, you know, basically form a method of paying for shit. With these Bonds, you can basically buy RuneScape membership. You can basically buy Rune Coins, you can buy Spins... You can even convert them to fucking RuneScape GP. So, basically, in order to get to Bonds, you basically click this little extra little menu over here. And as you basically see, I have loyalty points, and I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do with it. I have Rune Coins, which I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do from, because I got, like, fucking... I got, like, 3,000 from buying a year's worth of membership. And as you basically see, I still have a year's worth of membership, or just about a year's worth of membership. But anyways, you go ahead and click on Bonds. And it will bring you to a sexy, sexy... Oh, well, actually, fuck no. Okay. <laughs> ah, my bad. You basically click on bonds, and this is where you can basically buy tradable bonds and untradable bonds. As you basically see, you can redeem bonds for 14 days of membership, uh, 8 fucking meat spins, <laughs> the meat spins, and 160 fucking uh, rune coins. Right now, I think you can convert bonds for uh cost of each bond to be converted uh you can only convert fucking bonds from your backpack that's that's don't ask me to fucking show you guys how to convert bonds because i'm not wasting my fucking money to actually buy shit from this uh well and accept membership and stuff but as for fucking bonds i don't have to buy fucking bonds for the next like year because i already bought a year's worth of membership so yeah but otherwise in order to buy a runescape membership now you need to buy these little fucking bonds Right now, the current street price for a tradable bond is, I believe, like 15 mil. Might be fucking a little more. I, I'm not. I'm not really sure. All right. So basically, what do we think about Jagex adding these uh, little new currency type bonds to the game? Well, Jagex is on a mission from God to basically destroy every single gold farmer and botter from the game. Is that really a bad thing? Well, that's something to really ask yourself. Jagex said that. 50% of RuneScapians were buying RuneScape Gold. I don't personally believe that number is accurate because I really do believe that... I mean, I believe that there are people buying RuneScape Gold. However, 50 fucking percent, that number is a little extreme. Now, 50% of RuneScapians might fucking auto. That's actually a little more, you know, understandable. <laughs> But to say 50% of RuneScapians are buying gold, I don't know, that just, that number seems a little inaccurate and stuff. Um, however, to get rid of gold farmers, Jagex basically thinks this way is, is basically going to stop people from buying gold from outside organizations and shit. So instead of going to gold farmers and buying fucking GP, Jagex is basically saying, come to us and buy bonds and convert bonds to GP. Now, here's the fucking funny part about it. If you have a bond that is RuneScape membership, you can sell or you can trade that RuneScape membership to another player. So, if fucking... You, so, if you can basically buy your RuneScape fucking membership if you really... Ah, oh, fuck, you have no bonds. Yes. You can basically buy your fucking RuneScape membership by GP. Which means free-to-play worlds might go bye-bye. <laughs> I told you motherfuckers, Jagex may want to take away free to play worlds. Yeah, free to play worlds might very well go bye bye because you're going to have free to play users. There are people out there with a lot of money on free to play worlds that are just going to buy fucking bonds and convert it for, you know, 14 days of membership or, you know, really whatever and stuff. 
Uh, so that's going to be one thing that may very well happen, is Jagex may take away free play worlds. However, do I really see gold farmers, and do I really see this issue being resolved by bonds? I, it's really, it's really up in the air. Because if you really think about it, there's always going to be bad people in the world. And there's always going to be people selling, you know, RuneScape gold and shit like that. No matter what Jagex is going to do, I mean, fucking gold farmers are just now going to sell RuneScape bonds if you really think about it. Instead of selling GP, they might very well sell just fucking RuneScape bonds. I mean, it's it's really up in the air if this is really going to work or not, but, you know, time will fucking tell and shit. However, in my personal opinion, I think Jagex should be working a little more towards the simple fact of, uh, well, the amount of people actually on RuneScape. Does gold farming affect the amount of people on RuneScape? I really don't think gold farming and people autoing on this game affects the amount of people actually fucking on this game per se. When I say people, I mean players, people actually playing the game. You see, my friends, we all remember that November 14th, 2012, there was about 120,000 active members on RuneScape. And November 15th, and what the fuck? Anyways, basically, sorry about that. There's only about an average between 45 to about 55,000 people on RuneScape as of right now. So, back before November 15th of 2012, we all know what basically happened, there was over about 100 to 120 people actively on RuneScape. And back in November of fucking 2011, there was over 350,000 people on this game. I think Jagex should really more so ask themselves the question, how come there is that many people then, and how come there's this many people now? And also, does RuneScape gold farming really affect the number of people on RuneScape? Like, has gold farming impacted, you know, the amount of people on this game, or has it been updates in general? Ah, that basically is a question to ask you guys. But otherwise, it is fairly interesting. I mean, I actually do fucking... It, I mean... It, does, it is really good that Jagex has actually taken the initiative to actually go ahead and say we hate gold farmers and we hate botters. That's actually something really good to actually do and stuff. Because a lot of people are kind of really iffy where Jagex stands on gold farming and autoing in general. Now you basically know that Jagex hates gold farming and they basically hate autoing in general. Just like they've said in the past fucking decade and shit. However, will bonds work on RuneScape? I don't really know. However, I don't have to buy any fucking bonds until uh, next year when my membership expires. So I really, yeah, it, it doesn't really impact me whatsoever. <laughs> I don't want fucking meat spins. I don't want to buy fucking bonds. Three bonds, or rather one bond is five US dollars. So keeping that base in mind, that's a goddamn fucking happy meal. I get more fucking pleasure in my pants from going to McDonald's and spending $5 to buy a Happy Meal. I mean, fuck, I could buy five goddamn cheeseburgers if I really chose to, instead of buying one goddamn bond. However, if you really think about it, gold farmers may just buy bonds now. So the whole plan may just very well fucking backfire. But like I said, time will only tell. Anyways, guys, let me know some nasty dear little comments if you think bonds are a good idea or do you think bonds are a bad idea. Otherwise, tonight I have a date with Taco Bell, and I'll see you motherfuckers later. Bye!